Hey everyone, I'm back. Uh, anyways, I was just enjoying a quick text back and forth with my friend. Um, she's doing okay. Don't know where she is. <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, so there we are. Um, I've just finally finished my coffee and um, I ran the big furnace. I think, did I already record that? The big furnace? Yeah, I did run it. And yeah, you guys heard it when I was, it was running when uh, when I stopped. So, anyways, I've got it shut off now. It brought the you know the the main equilibrium. The other thing it does, I forgot to say, and it helps keep the trailer warm for a while after the heat goes off. Is it warms the floor? Now, I mean, this is 1989. This is long before heated floors like you know the modern ones. But what they did is when they ran the the ducts for the furnace. Um, they've got it in such a way, I, I'm uh, guessing the way they did it is the top of the duck must be directly touching the floor, uh, you know, mounted probably right on there. But then below it, on the outside, it's all double insulated. I mean, the whole bottom of this trailer has got like this much insulation on it, then this really, really thick, heavy plastic on it. Uh, I don't know. I don't think... Uh, the, uh, the fellow I bought it from uh, did that. I think that I think the trailer came like that. I think because this is a park model and it's a Canadian winterized model. So, anyways, um, so when the furnace has been running a while, a um, couple things happen: the water in the pipes because the PEX runs through the duct. So when you first turn the cold water on, it it can be quite warm actually, not hot but very warm. But it, like I said, at the same time. It's warming the floor, so then the floor is ready. Like, I can walk in the kitchen right now if I want it in barefoot. Um, I mean, the floor would be, like, really nice and warm. So, um, but anyways, I've turned it off now. I mean, it's not like I'm running out of propane. I mean, I got, I got the 100-pounder out there, and I've only ran this maybe three times since that 100-pound 100 100 tank I filled up. And it's only been doing hot water. That's it. And I don't run the hot water that often, so... Uh, so anyway, there's lots of propane, plus I still have another 30-pound tank that uh, that's at least half full. So anyways, we're not going to be running out of propane. Uh, I mean, and I and that'll probably be, you know, uh, yeah, once I get the wood stove going, I won't be running the furnace again probably, uh, who knows, for another month or something. I may, There might be a cool May night that I may just go ahead and throw it on instead of the quartz, just like I say. Keep run, run the furnace every so often so you know it's there for you when uh, when the time is needed so um so yeah that's uh that's going on uh it's still snowing but it's just a real fine small uh, flakes kind of snow the weather channel is showing me uh, weather network sorry i don't know if that's oh no why would i want to be in toronto god no minus two still it's should have that I should have that wood stove going I shouldn't be running that quartz heater like that um, God it's gonna warm up fast after this weekend boy <coughs> excuse me let's see what the radar looks like you guys can see this too so we're in the thick of it still and we're in the heavy part of course that's Lanark Islands doesn't feel that heavy out there unless there's stuff I'm not seeing but you know, Lanark. So we're in the blue. So let's see. 2 p.m. So it's still coming in from the east. Never goes. It's always the other way, right? From west to east. But, oh, we got a clear. Look at this. Clear spot coming up. Not for very long, it looks like, though. Um, let's stretch this out a little bit. Okay, that's Vermont. That's where I am there. There's that clear spot. So it looks like there's a whole lot more to go yet. So the, we may get that 12 inches yet because it's heading this way, which is backwards. And like I've said before, well, everybody knows I don't need to teach anybody that. But when the, when the, when the wind and the storm is coming in from the east, it's bad. So now, interestingly enough, if you go back where Michigan is, that's where our weather usually comes from. But you can see it's spinning around, eh? It's, you see? Michigan, they're getting the rain over there. A little bit of snow up in uh, and up here now. Uh, I think that's near Alpena or Rogers City. Anyways, and of course, uh, Sable Beach, which is like right there. Wyerton. 
there we go. I'll be going there for at least three weeks this year. I'm all excited. Oh, Sable Beach. See what Sable? Oh, they're going to get. Oh, they're going to get the snow. But what they usually get is the lake effect snow. But they're not getting that because the way the weather is is going right now, it's backwards to what it normally is. So, anyway, I'm sure that'll change. They've got this new thing. I just. Well, I didn't just discover it. I've, I've been checking it out, but it's called uh, precipitation forecast, and it goes a lot longer. So if I go, this is Friday, Saturday. So Saturday, see, it's uh, there might be a little bit of rain. See, now all the snow that'll be here will be all gone. It'll be gone by early next week. So then look at that. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, so now, ooh, look at that. Traverse City up in there, there, that looks like some pretty heavy rain. That could turn into thunderstorms in Michigan. So anyways, uh, but this, so like I say, this snow is not going to be here long. Um, uh, sorry, I meant to put... What you see outside right now... Uh, what you see outside right now, it wouldn't surprise me. It, it, uh, it'll be mostly gone by Sunday if it warms up like it's supposed to Saturday and uh, Sunday. So... We'll see. Um, like I say, the ground isn't frozen anymore by any stretch. Well, I can tell you right now, uh, solar isn't soldering. <laughs> Last I checked, it, <coughs> the batteries were down to 78% and they were reading three Celsius. So um, the thing inside shuts the batteries down at that point until it comes back up past five Celsius, which it's not going to, it's minus two right now. So, but anyway, there, there's no harm to it. If I really wanted to, uh, the uh, shore power is right there, the yellow cord on the back, I could just go plug it in, but there's no reason to, and I'm not gonna put the heater on, it doesn't need it, so, um, so we're fine. But yeah, I, you know, watch out, Blackie. Blackie, watch out, watch out. I don't want him going out. Be the last thing I need is that cat running so the firewood's right there so it's not like i got a million miles to go get the firewood isn't this something eh wow yeah they're not going to come plow look i mean it's already melting in the lower part of my laneway where it's been muddy uh i'm going to get that uh, road gravel brought in for that so anyways it's beautiful to look at there's no doubt folks i mean you know but, you know, we've already started preparing for spring. So, I mean, spoke to True. Uh, I'm getting a paper list together so we can figure out the priorities of the jobs around here to get done because I'm just doing, I've been doing it haphazardly. It's no good for him because now he's getting, starting to get busy with this Highland Solutions uh, 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 company. So I've got to get that, plus it helps me. It's like, okay, I got to spend this amount of money, that amount of money, okay, you know, okay, I can have that money then or when, and you know, all that stuff. So, oh, Mark uh, my, from Eastern Ontario uh, that I work for um, just sent me a message. So I think we'll wrap this up here for now. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe as always. Uh, that's the biggest help you can do. Hey, we're 300, well, we were, three, we were 330, but we lost someone, probably my mouth. Bye. You didn't want to stay with us. <laughs> Don't let the door hit you on the way out. And those of you that have stayed, 329 of you, we're at 329. I think that's pretty amazing. So, um, and then over in Rumble, it's growing as well. And uh, the hits are actually higher there than they are at YouTube because they don't push the bad boy down. You know, the people they don't like, people they don't approve of. Anyways. <laughs> All right, everyone. Now, I already said, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, oh, if you want to help, donate whatever, fuel costs, cat costs, anything you want to help out with, that's always, always, always appreciated. And uh, there's links down in the description. If you want to join and get exclusive stuff, like pictures and things that I don't put on YouTube or other places, then there's patreon.com slash lad from the woods. And uh, um, it's cheap and... Uh, you know, it all goes to the good cause here at Winterfell Camp and me and the cats and the creatures and maybe even trees. <laughs> I love my trees, okay? I'm not a tree hugger, although I kind of am, but I love my trees. I'm, I, I need to be going now, right? Okay, bye.